Hello, everybody. Oh, I'm so happy to see all of these faces, folks I know and folks I don't know. And thank you so much for joining us. I, I look forward to this every week. And uh, I have a little story I want to start with here, which is I had this image come up a week or so ago about how most of us bounce off our attention uh, for ourselves and others, we don't really receive it. And I thought, oh, what would be the, the best thing to do? This would be this little thing that I used to play with as a kid. And so I ordered it and then, I, <laughs> then it came and it's really cute, but it's completely non-functional because you, you can't make you, it, you know, it is sort of like the way I imagine that many of us are experiencing our lives right now, an expectation, and then we get the thing and we start and, and we can't make it. <laughs> so, the <laughs> so collapsed expectations, that's one thing. But the image here that I'd love to have you just be with for a moment is, does your attention to yourself and to others, does it sink in? So do you let it go all the way and do you let yourself receive? So one of the things I wanted to focus on today with our practice of loops and scoops, of loop of awareness and love scoops is the power of appreciation and the various aspects of appreciation because they lead to more extended receptivity but also increasing our dimensionality. So appreciation is the gateway to receiving, but it's also a gateway to expressing genius, the gateway to really um, letting yourself love. Because if you can first appreciate, that can lead you to loving. So even if you feel like you don't love yourself, you can give sensitive awareness. So what I would like to have you start with today is first doing a little bit of matching which is I'd like you to notice where there's so much either, my sense is either just, so first of all, just let yourself match the slowest speed that you experience inside and let yourself paint or sculpt that or use your whole body going through the room so you could feel droopy, drippy, just, yeah. And notice your experience of that inside. And notice how that changes your awareness around you. And now let yourself shift to matching the absolute speediest that you've been recently inside. So letting yourself match that with your hands and arms. And you can use your whole body if you want to. And I notice when I do that, that I feel myself shrinking into the middle. And my breath comes up, I hold my breath. So the, this particular crisis is such an opportunity for us to reclaim what we call essence pace and to reclaim our multidimensionality. So what, I, what I'd like you to do is to focus first on the quality of appreciation of sensitive awareness. And I'd like you to let your hands just find a place on you that is going, oh, yes, 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 I, I like that attention. And then let yourself, so I'm going to let my hands be here, and then let your oh, your awareness go inside to meet your touch. So let yourself meet your touch from the inside and let your breath meet your touch from the inside. And I notice when I do that, that I expand myself from the inside. So rather than creating space by contracting, I create space by expanding. Such a radical concept. And then I'd like you to shift your attention to be sensitively aware of something in your immediate environment 
that you maybe haven't noticed. Like I'm noticing that there is a yoga block under the table over here where I was wondering where the heck did that go? <laughs> so you may actually discover things. And when you send your awareness out, I'd like you to rest on it the same way that you let your attention rest on your body. And then I'd like you to bring your sensitive awareness, like being together with a close friend, I'd like you to bring your sensitive awareness back to you and actually let it kind of circle you and just giving your sensitive awareness. And I'm reminded of my cats, when they want to be petted, they, they stick their heads up so that I'll notice them and pet them. And so notice if there's any part of you that's kind of got its head stuck up for like, oh yes, please give me some attention. And I'm noticing that my body wants to move with this. And so I want to encourage you to also let your body move in response to the rich flow of attention. And you may notice also that in your interior, that when you give attention to that, you may, your attention may want to shift to another place. So you can go ahead and let that happen. So you're following. So rather than the ping pong ball or the, the paddle ball that just goes ka -ding, ka -ding, ka -ding, how about letting it go in and then land and then travel a little bit? And then letting your appreciative, your sensitive awareness land on something that's a little bit further away and stay with it so that you can land and you can land even further and you can land even further. I'm noticing a flowering cactus out the window and the flower is even bigger this morning than it was yesterday. And so it allows me to notice how life is happening and creation is continuing. And that when I give my attention, I'm in creativity, I'm creating. So I also want to play with some different senses because we usually think of loop of awareness as something we do with our eyes. So the basic practice that I want to invite you into through this week is wherever you notice your attention, just simply let it come back the other direction so that you're practicing shifting your attention. Because when we're stuck, our attention is stuck. I guarantee it. And so when you're stuck, rather than beating up on yourself or doing what you're doing more, just go ahead and shift your attention and see what happens. So I'd like you to now let your ears be your loopers. So I'd like you to first notice something outside of you and let your ears take the rest of your attention toward that sound. And I also find myself when I'm doing that wanting to take a deeper breath. So notice that you can add that in your Ah, looping and breathing. And I can now follow sounds around the corner. And I'm noticing now that there's a sound and I'm, I start getting curious and then I start figure, and then I start going into homeowner's mind. Okay, what's wrong now? <laughs> so time to shift my attention. So shift your attention to what you can hear inside you. So right now I can hear my voice in my throat. You may be able to, able to hear your heartbeat. So letting your attention just flow with your hearing. What you're hearing outside and then what you're hearing inside. This is an opportunity, I think this crisis is such a great pattern interrupt for what we usually experience as survival mode, got to get it done, got to do this right now, and that two-dimensionality that if we reclaim our multi-dimensionality, what we're also reclaiming is right timing, 
following our intuition, going underneath, like just think of something in your life right now that you're sort of pushing against, you're trying to make something happen and it hasn't quite happened. And just notice the body feeling of that and give yourself some attention for what you do when you're trying to make it happen. <sighs> what I've learned to do finally is when I recognize I'm pushing and then I give attention to me and I appreciate the pusher, I appreciate the one who's trying to do a good job, I appreciate my fear, and this is where we can bring in now some love scoops. So create a vibrant pool. I don't know if you saw on social media, there's some iridescence happening in the ocean in various places, this sort of turquoise iridescence. And I'd like you to let the colors that you most enjoy be in this pool of love. And I'd like you to scoop up some love actually feel yourself scooping it and then letting it <sighs> come into your body and let your awareness come to meet your touch. That would be a great practice for your loop of awareness this week is letting your awareness come to meet your touch. So scoop up some more. I got a big old scoop this time and find a new way to deliver it to yourself. And let your awareness come to meet your touch. Mm, beautiful. And your scoop up some love and then I'd like you to send that through your awareness out to somebody that you're thinking of who might benefit from being loved and being appreciated given that sensitive awareness. So then you can shift between scooping and giving to you, I'm giving to my belly right now, which you can't quite see, but I can feel. And then scooping up and giving out there to your community or to a friend or to first responders and then coming back to you, bringing in love and other of your senses that you can use for looping. You can use smell. This is an especially good time where we live in California to be looping when we're walking. I do a lot of loop of awareness with the fragrances. We have our citrus blossoms are just sensational right now. And you might have the sounds of new birds. You might, um, we had about 200 doves come through our yard last week and the flapping of their wings was just the most astounding sound. And I took that flapping and I let myself enjoy that kind of inner vibrance. So the love scooping for you, and notice, I noticed for me too, I'm much more like, okay, yeah, I got, I got it now, you. Like making it so much more important that I be giving. and. I imagine that this is familiar to a lot of, of us and a lot of us were raised that way. So please let your scoop here be at least a breath before you scoop. And then you could, you could fan it, you could wave it, you can wave it into you. You could make rhythms, you could make love scoop rhythms, you could have a love scoop dance, so you have, you could have a little cha-cha for you, you could have a tango out there, you could play with sumo love scoops, so you're adding in rhythm and weight and activity. Because the big thing that we need to do right now is to get active. And when you get active with your attention, 
that really involves your whole body. Oh, I love what's going on here. <laughs> Great. So if you see something that is going on that you'd like to try on, please do. And we're going to take this into the week. I'd love you to see how much of a catalyst you can be for loop of awareness, for loops and scoops in your world, through your presence and through your invitation. So thank you so much. And I look forward to seeing you again next week. So let's unmute everybody and we can have goodbye. Smacky. Smack. Love you so much. Love you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Bye for now. Bye. 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 Bye.